need a mascot. <laughs> what a little jellyfish but, behind them. No, they no, they would have to have a clownfish for their clownfish comp. Of course. Call him Marlin. <laughs> <All right. laughs> well, uh, well, what do you got on them, uh, Cassie? On a uh, clownfish or outcast or <laughs> clownfish. <laughs> Clownfish, uh, they've based, so the two opponents that they've faced, they didn't have a single problem with either one of them. I think they went up against, uh, what was it, Team Fighters, and they went up against some uh, another team, but they did, they legitimately did not let off the gas 100%. I think it was Thick Thigh Lovers and they versed Team Fighters, and they just laid waste to both of those teams. And Storm really likes this team. Like I think it's his ticket. I think he thinks it's the ticket to win. Mm. Well, we're about well, to find out. We're transitioning over to match. Oh, I forgot to change that out. All right. Wahoo World, Clan Blitz. Let's see what kind of comps we're going to be dealing with. Uh, last time I remember Winter. Yeah, he's going to st stick him with that 96, which was so brutal in that last game. All right. Well, we are starting off with Outcast Ninjas in the orange, Clownfish in the purple. Yeah. All right, so definitely seeing a pretty aggro comp coming out from Outcast Ninjas as always, with mm -hmm. with with no particular backliner apart from possibly the 96. Oh, nice Ooh. trade there with the tri slash. Man, this is definitely going to be a battle of attrition. I feel like both these teams are going to try to out mechanic each other at the very beginning. You know, test the waters, make sure that everything. Um, Make sure that basically their research is correct or that their research is incorrect. And then find results. Find try to find a conclusive result here. Arva. Tires the booyah on hand. Armor also ready for uh, uh for the side of clownfish. Ooh, Arva oh. going down Devin is just De Devin that was a great pick right there, right through the squat. One hundred percent. And as soon as that was mentioned, Tomato took them out. <laughs> Like I said, there's going to be a lot of feeling around for this very first match. There's a lot of, no one you know, has a real claim figuring out who can win fights, figuring out who can. No one has a real claim advantage. No one has a real turf advantage. Missiles coming out. Very fast going. Yep. Not missiles. They did look around when they got the missiles, which I'm not sure if that's a good choice or just immediate. Let's shoot to kill as soon as we can. It's both can be good. Can be good approach. Oh. Ooh. Oh, Winter gets taken down out. On Ooh. Oh, but Two down as on we say that, yeah. on fish. <laughs> Two down on the both trades sides. keep happening. Oh. <laughs> oh, neither side can get a real advantage here. They're passing around the power clams, trying to go here. You take this, you stay back, or you go there. Trying to get some sort of advantage, and no one really has. Outcast just has a bit more of mid right now, but that's uh, not good. Try and that gonna get that pick. <laughs> Blue. Outcast ninjas definitely trying to get advantage, just like really not really capitalizing it they on get, any. They've got mid oh. control, but they can't get to the basket. No. Blue, Blue. trying Maybe to find. Right. Oh, oh wait, hold oh. on. I, this could be the first push. push here. Here we go. Double Ari down power to 60, clam. and Jorian coming in with that power clam, and will get the dong. Power clams. Oh, the and they're clam. still going. Holy crud! That's one heck of a first place. Wait, there's a DC there's on this no. play. Oh no! Oh no! Wait, oh, what, was the the time stamp? what was the timestamp for that one? I'm not. Even, uh, I'm not sure if it came before or after that push. I am not sure. I, it 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 had that it was, it had to come. I think it had to come. We might Before have to like, that watch that push. Cause, cause... Somebody timed oh. it 238. Oh, 238? That's gonna be okay. a redo. Oh. Yeah, that's gonna be a replay. That's that was a re was what they can replay. Oh my By I... eight seconds. By eight seconds. That's... See, this is what prepared teams understand. They understand the rules. That was okay. That Oh, I. Oh. Ooh. That, that that hurts. They had oh. they had such an amazing push going. Definitely. Oh, that. Oh, 
It was a tactical question mark. <laughs> that uh, was but... neither side had a push until that very moment though. That's they were very even yeah. each other out. No one had any advantage or disadvantage. DC bam. Yep. Uh, well it's very interesting. All right. Definitely a stalemate. Get... Like, yeah, yeah it definitely. was very interesting to see because neither team was really holding the advantage. You see every single time when both teams were pushing, there was nothing except trades. There wasn't a team that legitimately got an advantage and who picked who. It was, I pick you. No, we're both going to pick each other, and that's what's going to keep going to happen until one of us gets this map control. <laughs> Oh, Tomato, my... I choose you. <laughs> <laughs> Tomato has fainted. <laughs> no. Winter has used 96 gal. It's super effective. <laughs> it uh, really was. And damage. we are going back in for... <coughs> that was... <laughs> Once again, this is still game one, people. Game one, Clamblitz Wahoo. We blame... Okay, so I have another Clownfish. Here we go. We All right. There, Promise. We blinked. There was a DC and a knockout. That's how fast it was. Less than thirty. All right. We're not gonna have a repeat of long start in in the uh. But the and long start in uh in, in insurance agency. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that. Battle. <laughs> we can avoid. Yeah. It. <laughs> All I know is that we had to wait for like thirty minutes and like. Wait, what? What's going on? And then just check the yeah. stream. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that was yeah, really, really, really tight. Yeah, I'm not sure white, about using white, armor there. I guess white. like, yeah, that was definitely. They didn't have enough clams. They didn't have enough clams to follow up on it then, so they're just doing in control, gaining clams, trying to. Everyone has a lot of individual no. clams. They just, just don't seem to be converging at all. Ooh. And another and, three down on Clownfish now, but hey, Outcast Ninjas doesn't have enough for their own push. And it happens. For, yeah, here comes the armor. For a really good push, you want at least 20 Clams out there. They keep getting up to 15 on one side and losing it. Nice work on Jordan. Yeah, he got through kill. here. And he's got a power clamp. He's going to get the pick. Yeah, let's see what he's going to be able to do with it. If he's going to be able to start something. That K-52 is going to be putting up a good fight here. But they've got specials. Can you get? And, and there's the first. Oh, good pick. A lot faster than Ooh. last time. Definitely. And, and there's a 45 the mark. Jen's wow. coming in with that and, ball. Oh. It, uh, Jen's Ooh. They're kind still of going. They're not done yet. They've still got clams. They've got people nearby. Yep, there we go. Two more in. Yep. They're just going Jen's one going one down. at a time. Looks like that's the end of that person. Down to 36, that's... Definitely a beautiful push. Definitely, 100%. I was been... actually not expecting it to get that low. <laughs> there have been games where that could be a game-winning push. Mm -hmm. Arva with Bob the Booyah, it. ready to go. Seven climbs, too. The armor. Oh. Outcast down to you. Two yeah. sticking together, going. And this could be a reversal here. Arva trying to push up slowly. Needs to win this fight against Ooh. Winter. Does not win it. Does not. Does not seem to push up far enough to really actually hit Winter with substantial damage. 96 outranging the 52 just a little bit. Also, Winter probably one of the best uh, aim that we've got here in Academy League. Definitely. How do you aim with 96 though? Really, really well. <laughs> and right. with the sort of luck I would pay for. <laughs> yeah, anyone, any, anyone would. I, One as a 96 out. player myself, I would. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. And no one has that push has also stopped. Winter having to go Ooh. in alone, and he's gonna get picked here. And Tomato. Shin, uh, uh, Shin's trying to hold on, but just can't really seem to. No. And both towers go that. down. We just got ten. I don't mind. Ten. Yeah, but I don't mind Outcast Ninjas taking the like offensive here simply because they have the clock time basically on their side. Oh, to where they can just kind of play out the clock. Dorian oh. does go down along with Winter. It all yeah. 
three down. Oh, on, oh, 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 staggered wipe. Staggered wipe. From staggered wipe. This they could hurt. We got the clams pushed for this. Here comes the booyah. This is gonna initiate it. Down to oh, 16. but Jorian getting a pretty oh. good push on that heavy. They're and hold up, hold up. Oh, oh, oh no, oh, oh no, it's up. Up, they need that. Come on! No! No! no, no he's not gonna uh, get it. Uh, the However, that's a really gone. good push for the side of It's a really good push, but they've got a minute to make another push at least as good. Or else they're not gonna do this. Adept's really trying to hold on and get that power, just but couldn't quite seem to like peacefully do it. Oh! Like they're getting a nice pick, pick on that pick heavy. There. Good pick by Adept to get Winter out of there. And adept but down that's and not going to do much. Jorian with the armor. Here comes Shins with the ball. Going to use that to stall here. Shins oh. get another pick. Clownfish really oh. going down. It just does not seem Outcast to be able to get out of the spawn. Widening their lead there. They might have this, a... this could possibly be they a game end. This is... And there and we that go. That's done. That is game Repeat of oh. game two, uh, game one. Wow. Outcast ninjas. First now here's the thing. Hard. That was fairly. That was actually fairly close. I, I, like at the yeah, very no, end. I can... Yeah, like like so. I'm pretty sure you could agree with me, Solver. That that was very close. Except like at the very end, to where they started getting a little bit out. Uh, I guess like out killed. They, uh, they started the beating just a tad. Yeah, just a little bit. But overall, Clownfish is definitely putting up a fight. They are not going down Easily. without, like, you know, yeah. And one of the things that I'm really enjoying so far about this matchup, it seems like both teams have a very, very firm understanding of uh, game flow and how it works. And it's team synergy, you know? Yeah, they're they both teams are timing their specials together. Wait till they have good specials on both sides to throw. Both teams they're covering each other, staying in pairs. This, I could see the all of these matches going either way. Definitely, one hundred percent. Can we also just I talk think... about how uh, Clownfish's yeah. uh, tag looks like a cataquack? <laughs> <laughs> You know, you gave me Mario Kart Double Dash vibes on, like, Peach Beach, except, like, where you play as, like, a character like Wario and he makes the weird noises, you know? Whenever, like, he's, like, falling off his cart, it's like, ow! <laughs> <laughs> Can't get back on. Starts arguing like a pirate. Arr! <laughs> well, I'm fairly certain it's supposed to be a fish, and until you said that I could only see it as a fish, but now I am not going to be able to see it as a fish. And yeah. Thank you very much. For yeah, no, yeah, no, it's a cataquack. No, I'm sorry, clownfish. You got to change your name to the cataquack. <laughs> so let's just ignore that and go no. back to our favorite spot, Rainmaker at Sturgeon. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Just the spot let's we all go. want to be. Outcast ninjas in the <laughs> clownfish yep. in green. Let's go. <laughs> Fair amount of objects that <laughs> right. on clownfish. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so again, coming. Uh, clownfish actually coming out with a slightly more aggressive comp, but three down uh, already on Outcast oh. ninjas. Wow. Yeah. Nice. All right. So. Does not seem to push at all, and Shin oh. trying to get that Rainmaker, and does seem to be succeeding. And oh, Winter! How? How? How does Winter hit that shot? I I don't understand. <laughs> Just, Clumpus really needs to be more aggro to complete. Out. Outcast pushes already out. got a good push going on. They made it. Yeah, and Winter going on a rampage again. Jorian on Jorian's top left. It's going to be very difficult to stop. They've got spot. everybody there, too. Ooh. Nice flank. Very nice T flank. Tomita. <laughs> and now... They needed that. They really did. Just is down three again. This is just... Insane. 
Forget waiting to push. We've had yeah. two good pushes in less than two minutes. I understand in a game like Splatoon, you know, hesitation is weakness. The more you hesitate, the more you can be punished for basically doing nothing. And it's very, very easy <laughs> to get out, caught up in a situation. Figuring Ooh, out when Blue getting a nice pick. Yep. Taking out that beacon. Here we go. It's a trap. Winter. Tomato goes down too. Winter. Mm -hmm. Blue, I think I looking for this know. pick on Slowboy. Slowboy with the Shins instant. Blue they're gonna get really out. Really far in. Just oh, trying to pick, get. Got the pick advantage. on Slowboy. Got another on to me. Our band that Zap is just kind of hiding. Yeah. Just... Shin getting Ooh. a. Yep. Oh, this is this is bad. This is very bad for the side of Clownfish. Two of them oh. down. Ooh, it's only a death to death with the armor. Are they oh. going to waste it on themselves? They're going to have to use it now. Otherwise, they're not going to get any use out of it. Shins with the Raymaker. Going the other way. Just really an interesting choice because he could have pushed up pretty far. He didn't know where they were. There's been so much resistance that path earlier. They went, let's try a different route. That's one advantage. I think in this case, as long as the Rainmaker is in the enemy court, it's going to... I think as long as the enemy is... Uh, the Rainmaker is in the enemy court, it's going to... It's going to make a bigger difference. Ooh, team my court. Again. Yeah. And that's a wipe. That Does... Oh. If, if they can contain them in their... In their... Uh... Respawn. Yep. Then, like... Then that, that'll... That'll... Does not... Oh, this is desperation. Have the knockout. They've still Only Winter Only Winter surviving. There's a jump. Oh, they don't see it coming, too! You'll never see... Oh, no, no, I can't. <laughs> can't see no, no. the stream. No, no, no DMCA, man. <laughs> Not that it helps the many. Seeing it coming is <laughs> immediately get the splats. Ooh, no. And Adept, holding them off. That's very important here, but Adept is not going to win that fight against Blue. And Blue still holding the offense here for Outcast Ninjas. This is this is rough, very rough oh, for Clownfish. They're not oh. seeming to get any offense in. But Arva, that was unfortunate for Blue. That that suction bomb radius can be one of the stupidest things in game. Is Arva wearing respawn Punisher? Oh wait, hold on. Let me check. Arva is no. Not... It's actually Ninja no, Squid. No, okay, 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 okay. Oh, got really and Jorian yeah. falls down with that Rainmaker. But it does doesn't reset like... though. Adept seems to get the kill like right before he hit. Rainmaker will yeah. reset if you go off the map on the other team's side. Hmm. I don't oh. know if that would have been more beneficial for that Rainmaker reset or if it's better for it to stay over there because Outcast Ninjas still have so much mid control here. Yeah, there's All of them just lying away. They're like they're like frogfish. <laughs> That's... <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know that you had that lure, you know, and then... <laughs> moving on. Let's go back They're to the match. Where... Let's go back to the match where we've got 16 seconds remaining, and this is Clownfish's last real chance to get back. Oh, very nice. Ooh, Ooh good splash cancel. Good splash on cancel. They've got to oh. grab that rainmaker and make a push into his next. Yeah, this is two v two here. I was going to win this fight. They need to pick it up. They, they need to pick, pick it up. up. They okay, they right. got it. They got it. Shins, uh, oh wait, hold on. Go down. Could, this be, could this be a making some a comeback? Oh wait, no. There's winter, winter on. Oh wait, no blue, mm. blue on the snipe. Oh it. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. No. no. A premature push does. Sneaking, sneaking that way was. If there hadn't been that one person there, that would have been such a nice sneak. That mm. dealt them so been. well. That would have been beautiful if they pushed up last. Quite make. I have to say, and they got those two picks right off the bat too, so you could tell they were capitalizing on like a They would tell you that you could tell they were capitalizing on the misposition that Outcast Ninjas was taking. But they didn't quite get it there. No, Highly unfortunate. Not quite. They get it. And there we go. Round three. So it's going to be zones on Skipper, and. Who I I, mm, I don't know. Clownf Clownfish could um, could still take this. Clownfish has been this. Oh, I I don't doubt that at all. Clownfish has been this close every time. Huh. 
Let's question, breathe easily. The question is, uh, there, is <laughs> there is a lot of pressure on them now because they are down that many people. Yeah. Um, remember when right. Outcast Ninjas is on fire, they're practically blazing. So we're going to see what happens. But, you know, uh, Clownfish is, they still got a chance. I mean, yeah, they, they still got. Uh, just Clownfish, always look Clownfish forward, Clownfish. never, well, backward, unless, you know, you're doing VOD reviews, but no one cares about that yeah. right now. It's yeah. only looking forward. Okay. Just, Arvo, adapt. I think Arvo's taking some time uh, figuring out what their comp's going to need. Well, they've Shin's seen. doing the same. This was their first time against Outcast Ninjas. At this point, they've seen they are super aggressive. We need something to compensate for that. For Outcast Ninjas, meanwhile, is just up there dancing. They're feeling confident. Adept looks like they're feeling confident as well, doing their own little dance with them. Oh, the checkmark dance. Yep. I love it. It's a classic. <laughs> Everyone has said yes. Arba. There we go. All to agree. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was right. the last one to ready up. Yes, yes, you were. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the whole point of the checkmark dance. Zones. Skipper. Outcast in yellow. Clowns in blue. That is a lot quick respawn on that tent. Ooh! Shin's coming out with the light, the light tetras. That, That's also uh, interesting. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, you never see that these days. No, I'm still, never. <laughs> I'm still going that tent had three mains of quick respawn. That is a tent that expects you yeah, but... Well, oh, Winter oh, really winter oh, stopping the jump out. That is a wipe on. Oh, in. oh. And it does like, like, one this is going to become. Don't come back one by one. Oh. No, it's all feed, please. We this is not winter. the way. Let, let Clownfish play. You can't just do that. Yes, they can. And yes, come they can. <laughs> down below 50. No more DC rules for them. Ball. Yep. Down below 40. Alright, wait, hold on. Oh, some... oh, oh wait, Arbor coming hammer. up for that. There goes the hammer and Booyah combo to get Clownfish back in it. Alright. This is definitely a map that's very popular uh. for comebacks. So, brace yourselves. Shin's this is definitely down. not over. Is winter winter you cheeky little <laughs> I'm watching tomato over and, here. And he gets so another nice. one! Winter oh, oh is winter the one reason why the, they just got control back? Yeah! Yeah, basically. <laughs> going with that. Hit on that top right corner. Legitly just hit on that ledge. Nobody saw him until the missiles came out and he still was able to get a pick. No, two picks. <laughs> it's another one. The tent's not following up. Oh, oh but it, oh, here comes the wow. hammer, but it gets canceled. <laughs> uh, Winter baiting it out. They've got the booyah ready on Clownfish's side, but I don't know if that'll be enough to get the zone back. Not with it. You need that booyah and that tent to approach at the same time. That tent doesn't ever isn't able to get over to that zone. It's going to be impossible. Ah, uh, Winter went down to... there. And... Oh, this is game. Six, this is game. Five, oh. four, three, Three, one. one. No. Oh, wait. Oh. Nah. oh. Wow. I looked away. No. <laughs> Pure Good dominance. On both sides. From the side of Outcast Ninjas. Good games on both sides. <laughs> I can agree with coming out with their signature 10. I think what happened... I think what happened is that Clownfish was just two losses in a row, two losses like that. They just... Coming back from something like that is so hard. It, yeah. Keeping I can 100% agree with control, that. Keeping calm, keeping controlled after a losing streak, even a short one, is so difficult. It's so easy to tilt. Mm -hmm. 
right. when you and this is one thing that I've noticed is that there's two sorts of modes that gamers that most players competitive players will hit when they get frustrated they'll either power up or they'll become immensely predictable and very easy to you know outplay simply because they're focused on one thing most of the time when when a player like when me when i first started comp i kept having this problem to where whenever a certain player kept killing me over and over and over again i would get upset and i'd start trying to target that one certain player you can't do that in a game like this i admit i've done the same thing occasionally there is part, <laughs> there have been times in past games where for example we said you have to take out gray in order to make it forward you have to take yeah. out oh, well <laughs> there are times when you can tell a single player is holding your entire team back from win or loss and make and having one person or two people just focus on that player can be a good strategy but knowing the difference between that and and wanting revenge because of a recent splat or because you just lost that's very difficult. Those are two very different things. <laughs> yeah. It, it, I mean, it's good to, like, focus someone, but, like, if the rest of your team isn't, then you're just going to be picking 1v1s with a very strong person that you're... Nine times out of ten, you're probably going to be... get out <laughs> Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I haven't heard if I'm supposed to interview anybody this week. So I think that might just be it for tonight. We have. Oh, really? All right. 